Good morning. Six days to study, six days to, you know, uh, work on schoolwork, homework. Um, I can work more hours now, you know, because I got I to gotta work, I got to pay for college. Yeah, if you're thinking about, you know, scheduling all your classes to be on one or two days, um, I know it's harder if you're a science major because of those lab classes. So, and you probably don't want to take a full day of, you know chemistry bio anatomy as long as you have you know good time and management skills <clears throat> um, as long as you're still taking care of yourself you know eating between classes even if it's a snack or two um, you should be fine this is what I have to go through every Wednesday morning We're here, um, I'm only 18 minutes late. Um, luckily we found parking. I don't know if any of you guys go to Kane, but you guys know that it, parking kind of sucks here. editing that first vlog that I was doing yesterday. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to uh, finish it last night, so let's go do that. Hard to find an empty space here at Kane, so what I usually do is just, you know, for an empty classroom, uh, room that's not being used at the moment, and just, you know, do some work here. So right now I'm gonna do some homework and edit that, those videos. about 10.50 right now. Um, class starts in about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna start heading over there. So class ended early again. Uh, we're gonna find somewhere. Something I like to do uh, when I have time in between classes is kind of just walk around campus. Uh, I didn't really get to do that much, much of that last semester because I was only here for like you know like an hour or two because I was taking a class once a day for every week. But now that I'm here a little bit longer, I'm here the whole day. I can do that now. for my next class. Um, I'm gonna head over to the military lounge because they have a microwave and I'm gonna eat something real quick. Let's go.
proceeding. Um, only about 10 minutes until our next class. So I'm gonna head there right now. All right, we're done with our third class. Um, my next class doesn't start until 4.30. It's 3.26 right now, so yeah. Uh, if you're wondering why there's a bunch of squiggly stuff on the blackboard behind me, um, I'm actually in the study room right now. It was open, so I got lucky. Um, it's not really that aesthetic, so I'll change it real quick. <laughs> now would be a good time to talk about my current college situation um, you know I think I mentioned it in the first video uh, I went to Kane even though I got accepted into Rutgers which is weird because I'm a lot closer to Rutgers so I graduated from Middlesex I originally wanted to do social work um, I took a social work class I loved it and um, so I applied to the social work program at Rutgers uh, it didn't take long for me to get um, you know, notification back saying that I got accepted. Um, I was really excited, and then I didn't think I would ever be able to, I, I never thought I'd be able to go to Rutgers. Um, so I was really excited about that. Basically, what ended up happening was I couldn't afford to go there. But I did receive some scholarships while I was in community college. Um, I got really involved in school. That's another thing I want to talk about. So. If you're in school um, and you know you have some free time, um, I I would suggest you know you, you try to be as involved as possible. Now, if you're like me, um, I was always shy. Um, the only thing I did in high school was um, I did track. There was something called Phi Theta Kappa. It's pretty much an honor society, <clears throat> and from there, my whole college career involvement just started just exploded from there. So first I became a member, um, I met the GPA requirement. We're talking, and then it was time for re-elections for officers of the Honor Society. And I decided, you know what, um, I'll run for it. Um, not really thinking about whether I ran for, I think I ran for, I, I ran for vice president. So I sent my little dis, um, request in and it was going to be voted on by everyone that was a member of the Honor Society. And I ended up winning. Um, I ended up winning by not that much, but I think it was like 10%. And when I got the notification that I won, I was just like, what? Really? You know? And honestly, I didn't really know how, how to react when I got the news that I got the position because <clears throat> PTK is that, uh, Phi Theta Kappa was actually a really big deal back at the community college that I went to. There was a lot of pressure on me, I was already getting a lot of emails from students, um, my advisors, faculty members, you know, asking for me to do this, answer this, you know, and just basic questions. And as time went on, um, I ended up falling in love with the whole uh, involvement aspect of college. I liked having that you know, that prestige that, you know, other people will look at you, other students will look at you, and even your advisors will look at you and like, yeah, like if you need, if you have any questions that need to be answered, like you go, you go to Luke. Um, if you need help with anything, um, you can go to Luke. If you need advice about anything, you can go to Luke. So I really liked being that guy for students and um, just that person that people can look up to. And I, I, I guess that's why I continue to be involved with school. But yeah, like as a general advice, you know, from college student to college student, if you guys are in college right now, just try to be involved, you know. It doesn't have to be an honor society, it can be, you know, it can be a martial arts society, it can be an English society, um, it could be a community service um, club, anything you guys want to do. So in my case, um, I never thought I was going to get any scholarships. I thought scholarships were only for students that get 4.0s. Just to put it out there, I don't have a 4.0. I 
Um, I never had a 4.0. Um, but when you're filling out the application to do to get um, scholarships, oftentimes they're not just going to ask you for a GPA. They're going to ask you for um, recommendation letters. They're going to ask you for um, community service hours that you did. They're going to ask you um, what have you done for the university that benefited both the college and the students. Obviously, getting good grades is important. Um, that's the number one thing you should strive for. But it shouldn't be the only thing you should strive for. I feel like it's really important, to, you know, to kind of go out there and be social. And so when it came close to graduation, um, I had to apply for scholarships because I'm not going to pay for, you know, a four-year college right out of my pocket. So anything that could help, I tried to do. So when it came time to apply for scholarships, it wasn't hard for me to, you know, ask my old professors for recommendation letters. It wasn't. It wasn't hard for me to ask for recommendation letters from my advisors. It wasn't hard for me to um, fill out any community service work that I did. So yeah, when I graduated, um, I had a choice between Rutgers and Kane. And what it really came down to was what I could afford. So I actually got offered more scholarships. I got offered more aid at Kane as compared to Rutgers. Um, it's 3.47 right now. Um, I have class in about 30 minutes, so all right, time to go to work. My last class isn't actually too bad. It's uh, recreation and stress management, uh, which is exactly what it sounds like. Um, what we do, what we do in that class is recreation exercises to kind of ease the stress from whatever we're feeling that day. Um, for example, uh, we did paint night last week. So yeah, if you guys have a lot of electives like me, uh, recreation and stress management classes are a really good way to go. If you just want something you know enjoyable to do while you finish your college career. I also met this really cool squirrel. Yeah, I'm gonna see you around, bro. <laughs> classes um, it's about 10 p.m. right now I'm really hungry I'm tired um, it's really cold out here and I parked really far so yeah their own will and not worry about how it's being understood or whatever and yet the wonderful thing about that is that it speaks to people I'm gonna end the vlog here um, it's really cold out I'm tired hungry so I can't wait to find my car and go home and eat something and just knock out. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me and hopefully I see you guys again in the next vlog. Peace! Just...